Hey guys, Ryan Ailes here, and welcome back to our Dwarf Fortress Let's Play series, episode 40. Our 40th episode in the series already. Wow, it went by pretty fast, faster than I had imagined it would have gone. But uh, fast nevertheless, and all very much fun, and this fortress is still very strong and very active, lots of stuff going on. Uh, let's go ahead and pasture some animals. I'm pretty sure that we have some that are not pastured. Let's take a look at what we have here. Anything? Gosh, we have so many puppies. I have not been paying attention to puppies and kittens. And I'm pretty sure their populations have exploded out of control now. Great. Uh, let's move the foal outside. The horse. Uh, what else? Really? We have, a, we have a tame hyena? I forgot about that. Wow. Quite a bit of stuff here. Lots of war dogs. Let's do a few things here. Let's go ahead and butcher, butcher some animals here. Uh, let's go to animals, and let's look at our, all those kittens that we have. Only three kittens, that's not too bad. Could have been worse. But we'll make some kitten biscuits, those will be delicious. And then we have tons and tons of puppies. Which is fine, I'm okay with puppies, we'll turn them into war dogs. We can see we already have five war dogs. Really? And then we have the black bear. And uh, he's due to be trained. Apparently we can't train him for war yet, though. Hmm. If he's tamed, then isn't he trained if he's tamed? I don't understand. Huh. I'll have to look something up about that. Uh, there's a stray chick. Chicken. There's the foal. All right, the hyena. Uh, we could go ahead and train that. Uh, we'll do any trainer. Why not? Any trainer is okay for the hyena, and the same thing for any trainer for the raven and the wolf. Let's do that. And the tiger. That'll be good. So train up all those. Here's our other war tiger. We now have two tigers. We have a female and another female. Drats. If we had a male, we could start breeding tigers. That would be kind of cool. But he is getting trained up. His trainer is Cody. The Black Bear's trainer is Cody. Okay. What about this tiger here? Any? Doesn't really matter. What about this war tiger? Cody. Okay. Well, that's cool. So there we go. We set up some kittens for the slaughter. Plenty of puppies as well. We'll turn those into a, a pack of war dogs. In fact, let's go ahead and assign some of these war dogs, shall we? Now let's see here. To assign war dogs, let's go take a look at our military real quick. Let's go take a look at the geared labyrinths. We have Naruto, he's one of the leaders, and Major Max, he's one of the leaders. So uh, let's go ahead and find those two chaps. There's Major Max. Okay, good, good. And preferences, work animals, and we'll go ahead and assign him two war dogs. Yeah. All right. And then if we go down to the training room down here, let's find a Rudo here. Blamo, you get two as well. And then <clears throat> I believe our was he a Baron? The Baron Lacrosse. We'll give Lacrosse one as well. Let's go ahead and find him on the unit list here. There he is. Baroness Lacrosse, she'll get a war dog. And you can see the Baroness there drinking some ale right out of the barrel. <laughs> like a real dwarf. That's how you do it. Drink it right out of the barrel. And you know what? All this stuff here. All this stone here. What did I what did I set it to? Economic stone, other stone, clay. These stockpiles are about to fill up, and what kind of clay. 
I never used clay or sand, really. I never set up a glass textile industry in a fortress. I've never done that. So perhaps that's something we'll do. It, it could be fun. It could be uh, knowledge that we could learn something, you know. So, yeah, we could all learn a little, little something new. Perhaps you guys have done it in the past before. I don't know. I've never done it, though. So we might set up something like that. But let's go ahead and let the for fortress run for now. We did go ahead and give the dwarves the command to go ahead. Hey, you can go ahead and pick up the bones outside, stuff like that. So, hopefully they do that. You can see over here, this is a dwarven child. Asmel uh, Arushak, the dwarven child. A child does as it pleases. <laughs> yes, it does as it pleases. Indeed. So that's good. Let's look at our job tasks, our job list, rather. We have dig, dig. Eat, eat, eat. Lots and lots of dwarves drinking, sleeping, quite a few fishing and hunting. A lot of them storing items in stockpiles. A lot of refuse going outside. After the siege, your <clears throat> your fortress will build up a lot of refuse, right? So, uh, they empty out the fortress after you open up the gates and get them out of the burrow system. And here's something. Load cage trap. Look at that. He's gonna load a cage trap. I'm wondering if the cage traps were never finished. That would be interesting. If the cage traps were never finished, and I'm looking at them, and they look like they're all finished. Otherwise they would say, need cage, need cage, need mechanic. I believe they're all finished. The ones downstairs, though, are not. So... At least I think so. No, I really don't know. Apparently, the ones upstairs were not finished. I'm I'm guessing that could be pretty bad. <laughs> that means the dragon never actually landed in the cage, and we could have caught him uh, if we had those cage traps finished in time. Man, what an arrival! I think the dragon just knew. Well, if I attack now, at least I won't fall in a cage. Who knows? Who knows? We'll just leave it to whatever the fate of the dragon was. I'm not going to dwell upon it any longer. <laughs> but uh, the dragon corpse has already been taken inside, as you can see. And... Uh -huh. One of these guys has the, <laughs> has the dragon corpse. Let's see here. Who knows where the dragon corpse is? Uh, what happened here? Ah, Sim has given birth to a grill. Oh, good, good on you. And apparently, people were fighting. What's all this fighting about? Ah, okay. <laughs> never mind, never mind. The fighting was from the dragon. Leftover reports from when the dragon was here. No biggie. Nothing to worry about. All right, let's uh, see if we have any chains available. I think we do have some chains available. Uh, let's see here. Let's build a chain or a restraint, right? And place some up here in the front. And, yeah, we could use ropes. We'll use some ropes. We'll use a rope there. And let's place another one here. Actually, you know what? I want them a little further this way. We're going to be attaching some of our guard dogs, or a animals there, rather. Uh, we're going to be training up some more animals. So, let's see here. Let's look at our animals yet again. We have two dogs there. He can be used for war dogs. He can be a war dog as well. So there, they'll get trained up as war dogs. And that way... We can post them up front. And look at that. Migrants have arrived. Wow. Where? There they are. Over here in the corner. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Is that an emu? It's a guinea cock. Okay. Interesting. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven more dwarves for our fortress. So we have a population of 190 now. So many dwarves. Alright, so let me remind you guys that if you guys want a dwarf named after you, feel free to comment down below stating that you would like a dwarf named after you. Okay? And then what I'll do is, as soon as we get enough names, we'll go ahead and name these new dwarves, and you'll have your own dwarf in this fortress, which is pretty cool. So our list is getting a little longer now, but uh, we're going to have to definitely get more people involved. But uh, that being said, we already have over 100 people in the fortress. I've already added uh, oh, like 140 people <laughs> into this fortress. Quite a few people, maybe even more than that. Like 150. So lots of you guys are here in this fortress. Pretty cool. I, I really like naming the dwarves. It's, uh, it's really neat when uh, Let's Players do that. So uh, because we do that, we do that every time that we play Dwarf Fortress. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. That way you get really attached to the dwarves too. I haven't taken a look at the aqueduct in a while. Do you see the fish? There's a fish in the aqueduct. Look at this. I hope nobody tries to catch that thing. A perch. A perch. He's getting washed up. <laughs> now I'm wondering something. Maybe you guys know. If there's a lake. Okay. Let's let's do this for example. Say we have a big lake. Hope you can see this mouse here. Say we have a big lake like this size, like this size, and there's live animals inside of it, like like perch, like fish, right? And you pump out all the water, and say you pump it out into the stream, whatever, and everything is empty or near empty. Okay, we got a plane flying by. I'm wondering if all the fish will just flounder in the lake, because there's no more water, and so they're just flopping. I'm wondering if fish will actually be there in the lake after you do that. I don't know, I've never tried it myself, but it'd be cool to see something like that. Alright, very well. Oh my, that's that uh, refuse stockpile is getting really full. We, ne we need to make another one. Okay, let's make another one. We like to just dump all of our refuse <laughs> right outside. Yep, just stacks of like Putrid, rotting stuff. Right outside the fortress. <laughs> Welcome to Lemu Laban. Please deposit all your... Oh my gosh, look at all this trash going out into the new refuse pile. <laughs> look at all this trash. Look at all that trash. That is crazy. Wait a second. Okay. Wow, is our bone stockpile really that full? Full of muscle shells. That's crazy. What are all these then? Muscle shells. Extra muscle shells? Huh. Do I need to fix this? Let's see. Refuse. Don't accept skulls, bones, shells, teeth, horns, hoofs. This one is accepting certain things, isn't it? Yeah. Don't accept. Okay. We want to block some of these, right? Um, let's see here. Enable and forbid. Some of these things we'll actually use, so that's why they're dumping out all that stuff. So hopefully, I'll go pick it back up. Go grab it again. <laughs> Get all that stuff. Bring it back in. What's that lying on the floor there? It's like a crown. A giant wren nail crown just lying on the on the ground. Who cares? Nobody wants it. Just throw it out. <laughs> Why not? Man, what's up with all this? Oh, that's just... This whole area right here is just covered in vomit. Right here. Vomit and blood. And then another trail of blood. Oh, yeah. Wonderful fortress. <laughs> I love this place. This place is great. Uh-huh. Indeed. Alright, uh, I never smoothed these down, really? Come on now. Gotta make it look nice. Alright. Wait a second. That's a stray donkey full skeleton. I thought that was the dragon. But, uh, this is the dragon up here. 
Then we should have plenty of, uh, let me think. Let me get my thoughts in order here. We should have the scales of the dragon, right? So perhaps a tanned hide. No. What else would it be under, guys? If we're looking for the body parts from the dragon, where would that stuff be? If it's not tanned hides... I'm wondering if... Well, let's see if it was butchered by looking under meat here. Hmm. I don't see anything that says dragon on it. Let's see here. What are you guys doing? Kangaroo, buck hair, skull, buck bone, peregrine, falcon, corpse. Lots of stuff like that. What about the dragon? See, butcher animal on repeat, right? Perhaps they'll grab it? I don't know. Oh well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, in the meantime, uh, let's go to our... <clears throat> what happened here? Why are you taking me here? Uh, Cornelius Mwaj has given birth to a baby girl. Congratulations. Good job. The Leatherworks, right? No, not the Leatherworks. The Tanner. Where do we place our Tanner at? Here it is. Tanner hide, right? I believe that'll just take place at any at any moment. They'll just Tanner hide after they take it off a corpse. So, yeah, then perhaps the Leatherworks... Would it be under Leatherworks or would it be under a craft shop? I don't know. Let's see something. Forge armor, no. So, yeah, it probably would be under... Oops. Leatherworks. I've never made dragon scale anything, to tell you the truth. So if I made armor... No... Maybe we can do another tasks here. Q new order dragon. Leather. Dragon leather. No. Scale? No. I don't know. I'll have to look it up on the wiki, I, I, I suppose. I've never killed a dragon and then tried to utilize it. Maybe dragon bone? You can see here, <clears throat> he's butchering an animal, Dindus. He's carrying a hoary marmot skeleton. So I suppose he will, they will over time go ahead and grab all those skeletons and then utilize them. Yeah, they should do that. So that's what he's doing right now. You can see here. So he's butchering that. The Hori Marmot. Just cutting it up and separating the pieces, etc. That kind of that kind of thing. Uh, we could go ahead and make some totems, I suppose. Let's make several totems. Let's make five totems. And then perhaps we can make something out of bone. We could decorate things with bone. Decorate with bone, decorate with bone, decorate with bone. There. We'll decorate some things with bone, make some bone totems. We have so many dead things around. We might as well. And speaking of which, since we're in the building mode right now, let's go ahead and create these wells here. Not ballistas. Let's see. A well is L. Wells are L. And we're going to need some blocks. Okay. Oops. Yeah, let's make some blocks then. We'll make... Well, we should have plenty of extra, so let's make a bunch of blocks. We'll make several blocks. We'll put together a well. And Cody, our animal trainer, is giving birth to a girl. Congratulations, Cody. Good job. 
Good job indeed. Upstairs here. So many things to do, guys. So many different things to do. Upstairs here. Upstairs here. <laughs> uh, we need to go ahead. DBD. Dump all these items right here. And we'll go ahead and create a dump. With the I key for zone. And go ahead and place that. And hit the G key to turn it into a dump. No, not a hospital. It's not a hospital and a dump. <laughs> Can you imagine you turn your hospital into a dump as well? <laughs> yes, very sanitary. Very sanitary. So that's what the dwarves will do. They'll go ahead and dump all that stuff. That'll be good. And I'm surprised that these dwarves here are not using the archery targets. Oh, maybe that's why. I thought I did... I thought I set these guys up for training. Yeah? Nope. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're all set up. Most of them were. Two of them weren't. Were not. They should be utilizing that training area a little more often. Here. Maybe we'll discontinue the training here. Let's see what happens. What are you guys going to do? Nothing so far. And you can see this guy here transporting some of those ammo bins upstairs. Gathering fish and other fun stuff. How are our wood stockpiles looking? Really, really good. God, we have so much junk. So much stuff now. You know what? It's time to place. It's time to place some stuff. We're going to go straight back into building mode here. We need to place cabinets, right? So let's start placing cabinets. And we'll place uh, containers like coffers and chests and stuff as well. Get all these rooms fleshed out to some degree. I'm sure all the doors would appreciate it. They're like, holy crap, I got a brand new cabinet? Thanks! No problem. Got you covered, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing I would like to talk about, talk about, a little more in depth. I'm going to create uh, a, a video, uh, just an official video, about uh, the new collaborative series that I've been invited to. Uh, this series um, was brought up by Pew Pew Choo Choo. Uh, and I believe he contact Doss and Damo and myself, and he's like, "Hey, I want to I want to do a collaborative series, much like uh, the forum collaborative series that you see at base12games.com for Dwarf Fortress, but the the difference being here that we would do it in on YouTube, since we're all well established uh, YouTube content creators. Uh, he figured, well, we could we could do something really cool." Uh, for Dwarf Forces, we'll do a collaborative Let's Play series. So each of us will play one year of the Fortress and then hand it off to the next person in line. Now, I believe that I'm going to be the the fourth in line to receive the Fortress, and uh, I'm very happy about that, but I'm also concerned that the Fortress will not survive <laughs> until it's in my hands. Uh, but I have confidence that uh, it will survive, and and I'll, I'll get to handle it on the fourth year. Now it's going to be really cool because uh, Damo's already started. Um, what they did was they the three guys they got together. They already did an introduction video. Uh, I was not able to attend for that unfortunately, but I will be able to t uh, attend for the next round of collaborative videos where uh, all four of us do uh, co-commentary together about the uh, the state of the fortress, etc. I believe we're going to be doing it every year in the game 
So however many Let's Plays it takes to get to the end of the year. So when we start handing it off to the next player, we'll all be there and we'll take a look at the fortress together and uh, just ch talk and chat. It'll be a lot of fun. Also, Doss is uh, an artist. He's, he's a very talented artist and he's been drawing um, artwork for the fortress, which is really cool. He's even uh, drawn depictions of the first seven dwarves for the fortress. Really neat that he did that. Uh, I recommend that you guys check it out. What we're going to be doing, all four of us, uh, we're going to be uh, creating a playlist on our channels with uh, the entire playlist for all the videos. Everybody's going to have uh, showcasing their videos for the fortress for the year that they're handling, but we're also going to be uh, including on the playlist the other videos as well, so you can watch the whole season, everything all the way through, uh, non-stop. And we're going to be doing this until the fortress falls. So it could be a year from now, who knows. So this collaborative series is going to go uh, for a long time, a very long time. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So something different, something new. And I'm very much looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. So... What I'll do, just for this episode, I'll, I'll post the uh, the content creators, their links down below for their YouTube pages. Feel free to subscribe to these three guys. They're all really good. Uh, they're all well established on YouTube. They've been making Let's Plays for years like myself. So I recommend you guys check them out. And uh, subscribe. And right now, like I said, Damo is already starting the Let's Play series. So he, already has, he already has one of his own personal videos out for the Fortress. Plus, you'll get the other two um, collaborative videos that were released when we chose the Embark location. So check that out. Like I said, I'm going to make another video, a more official video for that uh, soon. Not just yet. It's coming out, though. Stay tuned. But uh, very good stuff. I'll have the links down below for you guys. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Lionheart. Lionheart, our clothier, has been possessed, and he's claimed a clothier's workshop right over here. Uh-oh. What are you grabbing, Lionheart? You're gonna make a... He's gonna make something. Really? You're, you're bringing bars? What kind of zinc bars? Okay. What do you have there already? You have giant cave spider silk cloth and zinc bars. What are you making? Is it like studded cloth? What else did you just grab? Sandy clay? <laughs> clay? Okay. I'm not questioning. I'm not questioning this dwarf and his maniacal idea here. Dwarves will grab whatever they want. Palm logs. What could you possibly make with clay, zinc bars, palm logs? What was that? Rough blue garnets. Oh, that's good. What's going on here? A human caravan from Zedelgil has arrived. Okay, so I guess we'll be doing trading in the next episode. That's good. But uh, I want to see. I want to see what he's making. Go back. Animal caretaker cancels, cancels load cage trap. Needs empty cage. Do we not have any more cages? <clears throat> there, make cages. Make cages. I'm getting bombarded with cancel job tasks because we have so many dwarves now. It's ridiculous. Okay, another rough blue garnet. Okay. This is expensive stuff. I believe that's a citrine opal or something. A rough citrine. That's what it is. He's he's grabbing a lot of high quality stuff, and it looks like he began construction. He he grabbed grabbed even more sandy clay. Really. All right, do your do your thing, Lionheart. Do your thing, Bucko. All right, I'd like to see what the hell he's creating. <laughs> Should be very interesting. Yes. Uh, let's see if we have those war dogs. Are they done training them? I think one of them is. Yeah, I think those war dogs are done. 
He's getting trained. Yeah, one of the war dogs was finished training. Has finished training. That's good. Alright. So, we should have those blocks done as well. Let's go ahead and place the wells now. And let's place one more well. Alright. So we'll have a couple more wells. Speaking of which, I should probably just create another... I did create a meeting zone, didn't I? A water source. How come nobody wants to use that well? Hmm. Oh well. And this whole area should be a meeting zone, though. Oh, that's right. I set everything downstairs, didn't I? That's the new meeting area. Speaking of which, this should be set to food, which it is. And this should be set to food, which it is. Food and drink, but all of our food and drink is upstairs right now. Well, we'll separate that next time. Speaking of which, yet again, we're running out of drink really, really fast. That's bad. Well, let's do a number of things here. Let's request the trader. Uh, let's also, well, let's think here. How's our farms looking? Not too good, actually. What season is it? It's late summer. We should have tons and tons of plump helmets, to tell you the truth. Late summer, lots of plump helmets, nobody working, though. Burrows are set. That's not the problem. Why aren't we planting? It seems to be the deal here. If we go to kitchen, plump helmet spawn 195. That's the spawn. There should be plenty of people. Here, this is what we'll do. We have 54 idle doors. Lots of idle doors. Let's head on over to Dwarf Therapist. Alright, Dwarf Therapist, here we are. Alright, let's take a look at our dwarves here. We want to grab as many growers as possible, right? So, let's see here. Gotta look at it sideways yet again. Uh, where is growing? Farming. Here it is. Farmers. We have lots of farmers. Some of them are in the military. I know. But we should have plenty more farmers. Here. Let's see here. These are children. That's right. We have a lot of kids, lots of children in the, in the fortress right now. Farming fields. Had about 10 new farmers not concerned who it is just want to make sure that we do have plenty of, of farmers available and f have them farming they're important okay guys well anywho uh, we'll end it here in the next episode we'll go ahead and do a bit of trading we'll trade for drink since we need it and we run out of it so fast and we have so much food see the dwarves they, they drink so much and they eat so much so fast you know it just goes by Incredibly fast. In fact, if we take a look at plants, here we go. Plants. I don't see. I ha I see two plump helmets. That's it. So if we go down to drinks here, prickleberry wine, dwarven ale, and stuff like that. Not very much is left. It's going really, really fast. Perhaps we're running out of buckets or uh, barrels, rather. I don't think so. But yeah, we could be running out of barrels. 
So let's make a bunch of barrels and throw that and repeat. And we'll never run out of barrels again. We'll just have the dwarves literally just make a bunch of excess barrels. And we'll set these to maximum barrels. And we'll just load up all of our food storage area with barrels. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. Alright guys. Uh, I'm Rye House. Thanks for joining me. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to check the links below uh, for the other content creators, Damo, Das, and Pew Pew Choo Choo. And uh, check out their channels and uh, keep yourself informed with the Collaborative series and watch it as it, as it continues to progress. It's going to be really cool. And it won't be too long from now uh, where I'll have my hands into the mix. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and happy gaming.